Hello Shy Guitar people! Um, so today I'm going to be showing you what goes into me choosing covers, choosing which songs I want to cover, and the process of how I practice and what goes into all of that. Just basically everything leading up to when I post the cover. Um, I did a poll on Instagram and I did a poll on my Facebook page. Um, if I realize that I don't really um, tell you guys to follow me on social media, but um, if that's something that you're interested in, I get I hold polls and I get like I ask you guys what you guys want to see and I put out my ideas and ask for your opinion. So if that's something that you want to be a part of, um, you can go follow me in the social media links which will be in the description on my Instagram, my Facebook page. I have a Twitter but like not many people follow me on that. Um, so yeah, now that we're done with all that, um, the majority of you said this is something that you wanted to see. So um, let's get right into the video. <laughs> So the first thing is choosing the songs and picking out the songs that I'm going to cover. Um, usually it's by somebody that I listen to, um, but I feel like I don't, I'm not one of those people that cover songs because they're well known. I just, I can't bring myself to do that because if I'm going to cover a song, I need to really, really feel it. You know, that sounds so hipster. But like, if I don't genuinely feel the whole vibe of that song, if I don't feel the lyrics, if I don't feel the music, if I listen to it and I feel absolutely nothing, no goosebumps, no emotions, then I'm not going to cover it. Because if I'm going to cover a song, I want to put emotion and I want to put like how I feel about it into the song. And if I listen to a song and I feel nothing, then I'm not going to be able to put the emotion and put the feelings and I'm not going to be able to convey what I feel to the people who listen to my voice. You know what I mean? So first off, it has to be a song that I'm genuinely interested in. Usually it's by somebody I listen to. If not, like Location, for example, I heard my friend singing that. And I was like, you know, that song actually sounds good and I knew it was by Khalid, but I had never listened to Khalid. So yeah, um, after that I searched it up and I was like, wow, this is a really cool song, and so I covered it. So that's how I choose the songs. I, it comes from a general interest in a certain song or a certain artist, and I look it up on the internet and I listen to it. If it's vocals only, I don't really need to worry about like the the rhythm and you know like if you're singing along to music you have to worry about if you're on like the right beats and that kind of thing so if it's vocals only I mostly just focus on the way that my voice is but if it is a normal acoustic cover I will search the chords on the internet um, usually I get my chords from ultimate guitar and in the desktop version, you can actually transpose the chords. So if it doesn't sound right, usually there's multiple versions of one song. Um, and if it doesn't sound right, I'll either put a capo on my guitar or I will transpose the chords until I find a key that sounds right and that goes with my voice. So that's the whole process of choosing the songs and picking them and that's like the first step initially. The next part is uh, me practicing. If it's vocals only, I will listen to the song on repeat, I'll look up the lyrics, I will basically kind of mimic what the singer is doing. I will listen to the song, I will try to sing it, um, and I will sing along and I'll look up the lyrics and I'll look up like karaoke versions. If it's somebody like Sam Smith who is a man, 
I will practice the song first and I will try to get the notes down first and then I will adjust it to like how my voice is and what's a, what's suitable for my voice. You must think that I'm stupid. You must think that I'm a fool. You must think that I'm new to this. But I've seen it so before. I'm never gonna let you cross me. You must think that I'm stupid You must think that I'm a fool You must think that I'm new to this But I've seen it so before Never gonna let you close to me Be all you need knows to me um, if there's a part that I can't get, I will just practice it over and over and over again until I feel like, okay, I got that part down, and then I'll practice the whole song again. But every time you, but every time you hurt me, the less that I cry. And every time you leave me, quick as tears dry. And every time you walk out, the less I love you. Sometimes I'll practice it in parts, like I'll do the first verse and then I'll be like, okay, let me remember the first verse first and then I'll move on to the chorus and then I'll, I'll put them together, like the first verse and the chorus and then I'll practice that for a while and then I'll do like the whole song. Um, most of the time at first I'll do the whole entire song just to get like a kind of feel for what it sounds like and to know okay this is what they're going for this is how it's supposed to be like sung and then I will look up the lyrics and I'll practice along um, so yeah that's that's that part um, if it's vocals only again I don't really need to focus on much except for my vocals because I'm not memorizing the chords like I am with acoustic covers for acoustic covers, um, it's at the start, it's the same process as vocals only covers. For acoustic covers, if it's a song that I already know, then that's easy. All I have to do is just practice the chords, look up the chords, um, and practice playing it because I have to get like the chords right, I have to remember the chords, I have to get the singing part at, like right, and I have to align the two, so it has to be like on the right beat, it has to be, you know what I mean? Like it, it has to be like a normal song, basically. Um, so yeah, I have to align everything and so that is why I practice playing it a lot so that I memorize it and then I post it for you guys. So the first part of that is I listen to it and I try to like, sometimes I'll look at other people doing acoustic covers of that song just to kind of get a feel of this is how some people play it um if if i just i don't know what to do with it and i have this playlist called cover inspiration where it's basically a mixture of songs that i want to cover and covers of other people doing acoustic covers of songs that i want to cover 
So I'll look at other people who are covering those songs. I'll, I'll see how they play it. I'll look at how the artist plays it sometimes, like acoustically or live, um, so that I can kind of get an idea of, oh, this is how it sounds normally without like the studio help. And then I will start playing it. Sometimes practice can sound kind of weird. Um, it doesn't sound right at first. It sounds off key sometimes. Sometimes they can't hit the notes. Sometimes it just doesn't sound right, which is exactly why you need to practice. Practice is very important. Um, even if I'm not technically a musician who's famous and who always goes on tour and all of that and I'm not very well known but I still value practice because that's exactly how you get good at things and I'm not passionate about a lot of things which probably isn't a good habit but I'm very passionate about music and that means that I always always find the time to practice um, so that's pretty much my advice to anybody who really wants to get better at singing or playing guitar or anything really. Just practice a lot. But also in terms of singing, don't overdo it. You don't want to damage your voice. You don't want to like mess up the most important thing for a singer. And make sure you drink lots of water because the more hydrated you are, the less dry your throat is going to be. I know I didn't drink water at all in this video. But don't do what I did, okay? Drink a lot of water. But yeah, that was kind of an explanation of how I practice, how um, everything goes before I post my covers. Um, I hope you guys found this interesting somehow. I know I talked a lot. Um, but make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you would like more videos from me. Um, make sure to go follow me on all my social media, which will be linked down below. I hold polls on Instagram asking you guys what you guys want to see. Like I said before, I do it on my page too, and sometimes I post poetry on my page. So if you're into that, maybe go like it. <laughs> but yeah, this has been quite fun. I really enjoyed explaining how I do everything. Um, bye guys. Rock on. I will see you guys with a new cover later. <laughs> and sit down.